Hello everybody, I'm Corky Paul and I'm here with a Scottish friendly children's book tour of Fife and Clackmannanshire in Scotland. And I'm going to be talking about drawing and I'm going to give you some top tips on how to bring a character to life. And maybe I will just use Winnie the Witch to show you how to do it. What I'm going to show you is, is how I go about drawing Winnie in a certain emotion. So here she's a little bit angry and she's going to wave her wand. So the, the things you think about is, you know, the eyes and the teeth are really important for getting, showing your emotions in your character. So I've got her, I'll draw her eyes quite close together and right up against her hat and I'll put her two eyeballs really looking down to whatever she's angry with. The other thing I'll do is I'll play around with her body. I'll have her hand waving the wand but really stretch it out and put a, a sort of a bend on it so it's like she's pushing down with it. And the other hand, I'll have her pushing up behind. Whenever you're drawing a character, you don't want them just standing there. You want them to be doing things with all their arms and legs. Because if you look at people, when they're walking or running or talking, they're always moving everything. So I've got not only her hands and her arms moving, but I've also got her legs moving. And I've got her almost jumping in the air. So that also helps to give the feeling of Winnie's anger. The other thing I do is I will take her hair and billow it out behind her and her coat will all fly around. So this all gives you a feeling of movement. Nothing worse than drawing a character that's static, that doesn't have any movement. You've got to have your character jumping or moving all their limbs and you can accentuate that with various parts of the, of the body through her clothing. I mean, I could have had her hat falling off or something. There are lots of ways of doing it. There's no wrong or right way. You just find the way that you think works for that situation. So I pencil that in first with my pencil, feeling it out, thinking about what I'm going to do. Maybe not happy with a certain bit I've done, so I'll redraw it. But I don't keep rubbing out. I think you've got to draw your line, and then if you don't like something, you just draw around it so you can still see your old mistakes. Because sometimes there's something in there that looks a bit better when you come to ink it up. So don't always rub everything out. Once I'm happy with my pencil sketch, and I think every, all the information is there that I need, I then take my black Indian ink and my dip pen, and I then start drawing. And there's, I don't start in any particular place. I just draw which, which part fancies me. And I think I would start drawing with the hat maybe, and then go to the hair, and then maybe a little bit of the nose, and maybe the eyes. So it's a bit like you're trying to feel out this body, this character. You're trying to find the shape of it. You're trying to find the weight of it, if it's jumping, if it's moving. And it's like you, you're building around it. You're slowly building up and getting a feeling of this character. It's a bit like a, bump, a bee collecting honey. You see a bee collecting honey and there's a whole bunch of flowers. They jump around. And it's the same when you're drawing, you're feeling out this drawing. And then you might think, oh, I'll quickly do some of the shoes. And then, oh, I better do the legs. And then you go back to do the hands. So you move around all the time, trying to build up this character. Now, we had a little drop of ink here. Look at that. So what are we going to do? I'm going to make it into a little bug. And he's clinging onto Winnie's arm when she makes the magic. So that's Winnie drawn up. From pencil rough through to me inking it up and improving on the drawing. What we're going to do now is we're going to leave it to dry and then we'll rub it out and then we will colour Winnie in. Right, so now we have completed inking up Winnie from the pencil and now we rub out the pencil. And the thing is if you don't rub out when you put your watercolour on top, uh, you can't rub out the pencil again because the watercolour seals it in. Good. So that's when he cleaned up and rubbed up and ready to be painted with wonderful watercolours. Okay, so when he is uh, cleaned up, all the pencil lines have gone and now we're going to put on some watercolour. Now the trick with watercolours is to have two jars of water. One you use for cleaning your brush and the other one you keep fresh and clean to mix your colours with because watercolour loves clean water and if you use clean water your colours will sparkle, they will glow. With watercolours, the best thing to do is the lighter colours first of all, colours in the background. Then I think maybe I'll put a little bit of a wash in the background. Okay, lots of water. 
when you're doing a background like this, lots and lots of water. Okay, and then take a little bit more color, add it to that. And this is the way you get what artists call the happy accidents happening. Okay, and there's a nice contrast. It's a whole thing is of contrast. I made the floor dark, but the back, but the wall, as it were, here, quite light. And then just to make it look a little bit more witchy, let's put a little moon in here somewhere. There you go. Even those little bits of white showing through, that's what gives it what artists call, gives it a little bit of life, okay? Now, what are we going to do? Let's get onto the clothes. Winnie's dress has got little folds on it, right? On her torso, so you're just going to put those in there like that. But don't go over and over and over. Once you put the colour in, leave it. And you pick up the colour from your character, which links the drawing with the background in a curious way. Yeah, so it's already looking more like Winnie now. But also these little white flex things, don't worry about them. That gives the drawing life. Well that, boys and girls, is how you go about drawing Winnie. From a pencil sketch through to your line drawing, through to your watercolors. And you always use watercolors very lightly with lots of water. And look at the effect you get. How's she looking? She looks good. Thank you.